Well, good afternoon. I'm Kate Murray, supervisor of the town of Hempstead, and welcome to beautiful Civic Beach and Point Lookout in the town of Hempstead. Well, the dunes, as we all well know, on this beach took a beating during Hurricane Sandy, but they did their job protecting our, our residents and our property. And at the same time, the devastation that was inflicted by Mother Nature on our neighbors across the barrier island made one thing absolutely crystal clear. We need a major engineered coastal protection plan to keep our families, our homes, our businesses safe throughout Long Beach Island. And today, the dream of being safe from storm damage is much closer to reality. And that's something we can all cheer. We have lots of neighbors, lots of very, very civic-minded uh, folks here, and I, I want to uh, name, uh, I'd love to name each and every one of you. I'll name a few. We have from our Point Lookout Civic Association, Sheila Meyer, Jerry Adovino, and Herb Abbey. Thank you so much. From our Lo uh, Long Beach uh, Alito Dune Civic Association, we have President Liz Murdy, Addie Quinn, Michael Fickman, and Jeremy Thornton. Thank you so much, Alito Dunes. We have John Coletti, who's the president of the East Atlantic Beaches Civic Association. Thank you so much for joining us. Tom Hug from Point Lookout. Rod Masters, our own great neighbor right here in Point Lookout, and commissioner of conservation and waterways for the town of Hempstead. We also have, of course, all our heroes behind us, representatives from the Lido Point Lookout Fire Department, who kept us all safe. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there you go. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, Ryan. Ryan's here, the godfather. <laughs> we have Chief Brian Garin, Commissioner Jack Pez. We have uh, fire, former Commissioner Pete Zakaria, Matt Thompson, and Chaz Thompson, and all of our members of the fire department. Thank you again for all that you do. We have our friends to the west, the City of Long Beach Council President Scott Mandel. Thank you so much, Scott, for your courage, your great vote. We really appreciate it. We have Fran Adelson, who is and Vice President of the City Council. Not, not down yet. There you go. <laughs> Councilman Len Torres, Zoning Commissioner Bythewood, and City Manager Jack Schneerman. Thank you so much, friends from Long Beach, for joining us. We have our Nassau County Legislator, Denise Ford. We have that perennial lifeguard, Assemblyman Harvey Wiesenberg. Mr. Morris Kramer, a local environmentalist who's been very passionate, as all of you have been about this plan. And last but certainly not least, the man who has represented us so well in Washington and who recently announced that the federal government will fully pay for our storm reduction plan. And that, of course, is our great U.S. Senator, Chuck Schumer. Okay. Thanks, Kate. First, I want to say this. I rubbed Harvey's head, you know, pretty well. And it, sound, it looked like it had, it felt like it had hair pomade on it. With no hair, but he said it's sunscreen. Okay, first, I want to thank everyone for being here. I know it's a holy day, Palm Sunday, and I thank people for coming out uh, and being here. It shows how important this is. And, you know, these beaches and this beautiful area is God's handiwork, so it's appropriate, I think, for us to be here. And second, I do want to say one other thing unrelated to this. We only have one New York team left in the Sweet 16. Syracuse, go Orange. Yeah. That's for upstate. This is for downstate. Okay. It's great to be here. I want to thank Kate Murray, our great town supervisor. Uh, Harvey Wiesenberg, along with his brill cream on his on his head, um, and all of the elected officials. Do you girls know what brill cream is? <laughs> Your parents know. They'll say a little dab will do you. Remember that? Um, in any case, uh, and all of our elected officials and our great civic leaders. We have been blessed with great civic leaders from one end of this uh, peninsula to the other, and that is very, very lucky. Um, we're here for two reasons. One is to celebrate in a historic event. Eight weeks ago, we were here, and the girls had their signs, but we were saying we need money for the beach. We need money for the dune project to move forward. Well, I'm happy to report we've come a long way in two months, girls. Um, let me explain. 
After more than a decade of planning, multiple storms, and lots of destruction, we have finally secured over $150 million to give Long Beach the protection it needs. That's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this was a battle with a lot of twists and turns. You followed them all. Plans were drafted and revised and turned down. Protests mounted, counter protests. But over the whole, over the biggest pro over the whole process, the biggest question was asked: Where is all this money going to come from? This is an expensive job. The city of Long Beach didn't have the money to do it. Nassau County, the town of Hempstead, didn't have the money to do it, and neither did Nassau County. It had to come federally. And so first, the first step we did is we worked real hard early on to identify seven projects throughout the New York area that had already had the Army Corps had done some planning for and laid it out. And of course, Long Beach was at the top of the list. And we were able in the $60 billion Sandy money to make sure that those seven projects were specifically listed and included. So they couldn't say, well, we got to use it for something else. So that was the first step. Then the second step, of course, was passing this bill. Once we put the bill together, it wasn't so easy in the Senate, but it became very hard in the House. I want to give your, con I don't know if he's still your congressman, but your former congressman or present congressman, Peter King, a whole lot of credit for the job that he did. <laughs> Calling out, it's easy to call out members of the other party. It's harder to call out members of your own party when they're not stepping up to the plate, and he did. And so we give him a lot of credit. So we got the bill passed, but then we looked at the bill, and in the House bill they said only 65% of the money will come from the federal government. Well, you figure it out. 35% of $150 million is not a couple of pennies. That's a lot of change. And let's figure it out. 35%. Huh? About $50 million. She's going to run for Nassau County Controller. Um, I like the town uh, so it's about $50 million. Where were the people here? What's the annual budget of, say, the city of Long Beach, the biggest? Okay, so that's almost their whole annual budget, and that couldn't happen. So this was really hard. We worked really closely. I had many, many calls and meetings with the head of OMB, a guy named Mr. Zeintz. It's one of the few people I ever met whose name it begins with a Z and ends with a Z. Zeintz. Anyway, I called Mr. Zeintz and uh, worked on him, and I said, how do we get this? We can't do this 65-35. That was what the House put in. And, he, and we came up with this idea that if the Army Corps had actually studied the projects, then the federal government could pay 100%. Because in, the in this House bill, they said it can't go for any new projects, but the 100% could be applied to existing ongoing projects. Now, and so we had to really work to make sure that the definition of an ongoing uh, project fit Long Beach and fit this whole area, and it did. So just a week ago, or two weeks ago, we announced that all of the four projects we included, which is not only this one, but also what's known as the FIMP, Fire Island to Montauk Point project was part of this. And for those of you who have friends and relatives, the Rockaway project, very important uh, to get it done there for the city of New York, as well as projects on Staten Island would all be paid for. Those four only would be paid for 100%. All right. So that meant all the money was going to be there, the whole $150 million, so you didn't have to worry about money. And last Tuesday night, the city of Long Beach approved, and I'm sure the various towns are busy approving. Uh, they did already, Point Lookout and Lido Beach and everybody else. Good, and now when are you guys going to approve it? Tuesday morning, the town of Hempstead approved it. We know the state will just go along, so that's done. And so the state, the city, the localities have all done their job. So the second reason we're here today is now say, get moving. You got the money, you got the authorization. The project was planned and approved. Get moving. And that would be the message we have today. There are three steps that have to be done now, and we don't want any bureaucratic delay. The first is they have to do a specific engineering uh, and design study. In other words, the plans have been approved. Here's how high the dunes should be. Here's where they should be. Here's where groins should be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
But like anything, when you build a house, you first say, okay, it's going to have three bedrooms, and it's going to have two stories, and it's going to have a fireplace. But then you need um, an architect to design the thing. And so that's what has to happen next. It's called specific design study. And what we want is that it be coordinated and has to be not out here, but over in Long Beach. It has to be coordinated with the building of the boardwalk. So we need the two combined because obviously the boardwalk has to be made safe. That could should take three to four months. And we want that started right away. Then they got to bid it. Now, the Army Corps pays for it and supervises it, but they don't actually, it's not Army vehicles that pump the sand and, uh, and do the work and put it in place. They've got to find some, uh, they've got to find some, you know, they've got to hire with contractors. They've got building contractors, they've got pumping contractors and all that. So, and they have to bid it. The bidding process, fortunately, doesn't take years. It takes just months, but they have to bid the project. We want that to happen immediately after the engineering and the design study happens. And then we want them to start work. So we want shovels in the ground, um, you know, by, by, 20, by, the, by January of 2014. And that means they'll start working on it and hopefully get much of it done before the next summer season. They won't have it done by this because it's a big, huge job. But if we can have much of it done by the next summer season, that'll be lightning speed for the federal government. <laughs> My pledge to you is I will be on them. I will make sure that there aren't delays and anything else. Because as we know, getting the money and getting the approval is only half the job. Then you have to actually get it done. And we don't want anything else to get in the way. And so that's what we're here to do today. We're first here to celebrate that we have everything in place to get it done. But second, we're going to make a commitment. We are, I am, making a commitment that now we're going to make sure there are no delays in getting it done so everything can happen. What's the message? The message is to everyone in these wonderful communities, all the way here from Point Lookout, all the way to Atlantic Beach on the other end of, what do you call it? A barrier island. Thank you. Brooklyn, a barrier island? No. Okay, suburb of Long Beach. Um, okay, so um, we want to make sure everything gets done and gets done quickly on this barrier island um, because it's beautiful. But our message to everyone on the barrier island is this. You can feel assured that the kind of protection that is needed in this new world with all kinds of new storms will be there. It'll be strong, it'll be tested, it'll be sandy proof. Yeah. And so um, if anyone's having doubts whether they should reinvest in a small business or in a home, here on the Long Beach Barrier Island, live and learn, thank you, Denise, um, they should not. They should go forward because uh, Long Beach, Barrier Island, from one end to the other, from Point Lookout to Atlantic Beach, is coming back bigger, better, stronger than ever. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Who else is speaking? Harvey? Jack? Anybody else? Harvey? I just want to share a little Devil history. Do you, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> That's fertilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Seaweed. Natural products. I just want to share with you because we worked 20 years, and Kate was involved at that time too with Peter and uh, people in Washington. We had a $98 million grant. And you know the courage that it took because people don't like change. We put, when we put the dunes up in Long Beach, when I was on the city council, people said, you took away the value of my home. I mean, look what you're doing to us. And the first Norris said, they didn't have water in the basement. They said, this is great. Who and look out, it survived with so much less devastation because the people are going to look at in government. We put the dunes here. We got the money. We, we tried. The sand didn't come up flat. People didn't drown because of the riptides. And the city council that sat prior to the people that are there now said, oh, the surface didn't like this. We're not going to do it. And they turned away $98 million. Well, we're living today because we have an administration, local administration, that knows better. We got God tested us. We have devastation here. We're not going to let it happen again. we got a hero in Washington. I don't say that about anybody else as far as I'm concerned in Washington. But I'll tell you, 
He's the guy. He's the lifesaver for all of our communities. And I'm saying this on a bipartisan basis. People love and respect because this man has his feet on the ground. He has his feet on the sand. And he's there <laughs> to meet the needs of our people. God bless you, Chuck. Thank you very much. And our city council is going to take the courageous. Nobody likes everything. Nobody's going to be happy. You can't please everybody. This city council has the courage to move forward, and they did. And now we're going to have the progress that we deserve. And uh, we really are so grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first, on behalf of the city of Long Beach, just want to acknowledge our other council member, Alan Goggin, is here. Uh, it's just such a wonderful feeling to know that all of our elected officials working together to get past this horrible superstorm that could have crippled the entire barrier island. Uh, Long Beach is moving aggressively, and that's only one piece of the puzzle. It's only as good when we have our elected officials moving as aggressively, too. And but for that, we wouldn't be uh, able to recover half the way that we have so far. So thank you, Senator Schumer, for always being there and making sure not only do we have the wherewithal to get back and running, now we have the finances to do it as well. We're also working with the uh, Surprise Association and all other civic groups, and we appreciate that community input. I know uh, Larry Moriarty is here from Surf Riders, so we thank you, and we thank the Surf Riders. But again, thank you, Senator Schumer, and always thank you, Harvey, but thank you very much. Thank you. Since we did Grill Queen, we'll do Oh Denise Scooby-Doo. You remember that song? <laughs> With you, Chuck. Oh, oh. oh. Who sang it? Good job. Good job. <laughs> it's a song, girls. It's it, no, it is a good thing. You, <laughs> you have to be your grandmother's age to know that song. That's all I can tell you. But I, I also want to thank Senator Schumer. And I, I truly believe uh, when he says that he's going to stay on top of this to make sure that not only are the plans going to be put forth, but the work is actually going to be done. And um, I had to say, Senator Schumer, right from the beginning, from the moment that Sandy hit us and devastated us, you have been that one person who has been down here working diligently on behalf of all the residents and the businesses uh, in the affected areas of um, Sandy, whether or not farther out east to Massapequa, Lindenhurst, but all the way right through the Rockaways, even into Brooklyn and Staten Island. And um, But you have not forgotten that your heart is really here down in the South Shore of Nassau County. And I really want to thank you very much and for everybody and all the other elected officials that have worked on this and all of you. Let's get this project going. Next year, we're going to have a different beach. We're going to have a better beach and we're going to have better protection. And I thank you very much. I also want to echo the sentiments of Denise, Kate, when we praise Senator Schumer. Without his help and without his perseverance, we would not have gotten the funding. These cash-strapped communities wouldn't have been able to put forth to get the project going. And we really appreciate it because 100% funding is really what we needed. Otherwise, we, we won't be in the position we hope to be in at this time next year and next summer of 2014. And I want to thank Kate Murray. Kate Murray has always been there for us with the town of Hempstead and with people under her like Ron Masters who has educated us and who has helped us do the right thing when it comes to our beach, our sand, our planting, everything we get, we get from Kate in the town of Hempstead and her her people like Ron Masters, who I can't say enough about. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, I think you've heard from all of us. I just want to also uh, thank, you know, we in the town of Hempstead, we've been on board uh, with the storm reduction plan for about a generation now, and we've always been very excited about the plan and I have to tell you I want to thank our colleagues to the West in Long Beach they took a courageous vote uh, Tuesday night uh, and they voted to uh, to join the storm reduction plan and with that vote they joined the town of Hempstead and now we could go forward we are united as a barrier island even though we're in di different jurisdictions different municipalities we are now acting as one and as one we will be able to get a storm reduction plan in place with Senator Schumer's tremendous, tremendous activism on behalf of all of us in Washington, D.C. Uh, he will get it fully funded for us, which is delightful to a chief financial officer. I'm sure you all feel the same way. We're thrilled. And the bottom line is, with this storm reduction plan in place, we will now be safer than ever. Our homes, our communities, our business districts will, will be very well protected for generations to come.
thank you all for your great advocacy as well. Let's go forward. Congratulations. Thank you, Tina.